Hey everybody and welcome back to the video series about how you create JavaFX application in, and the charts. First we need to create a new project here and we're going to select right click here and select new project. We go with Java with and, JavaFX and then we select JavaFX FXML application. And we need to provide a name for this. So we select charts, demo app. So then we get the basic boilerplate uh, code for this application. And if we expand the package here, we can actually see that we have the, the main file, the application. That will extend from XML, FXML document. And then we have a controller. I'm just going to rename this FXML to charts demo UI. And also this controller here. Charts demo controller, yeah, or UI controller. All right, so we renamed areas of this. Uh, JavaFX fits really nicely with MVC because you have the uh, built-in controllers and you have also FXML files that will represent the view. Uh, so in a bigger project, it will probably be best to create separate packages for those so that it is easier to maintain it. But we're not going to do this right here. We're just going to uh, have them in the in the base package. So we're gonna rename the fxml file here, or just type in the correct name. Charts demo UI, and probably we should. That was charts demo UI controller. We're gonna edit the because we need to provide the correct there. Charts demo UI controller, okay. Let's see if we can actually just basically run it. Yeah, so we have the default setup here. You would just provide us some re uh, renaming of the files. All right. Okay, I think that should go away now. Um, let's remove the. Yeah, let's just remove the children in this because we're going to rearrange this with Scene Builder. So we don't need to have this default button there. All right. So the next step is that we should open up the FXML file in Scene Builder because we need to do some basic UI in here. It's not going to be a really complex UI here, but, but we just need the basics. So first we're going to get rid of the anchor pane. So we don't have anything there, and we're going to need a border pane. So we search on for border pane, drag it right here, and we have this top and left, and center, right, and bottom areas of the border pane. And we're just going to provide it with a name here for so we can reference that in the Java file here. So we're just going to put border pane there, and then we need to have a menu bar. So we're going to put this whoop, in the top there. And this is going to give us a default menu bar with file and edit and uh, help. And if we expand it over here, we can see that it will give us close in the file. It's going to give us delete in the edit and it's going to get, get us uh, about in help and we can create more in here if we want to do that. So what do we actually need in this UI? Well in the file maybe that could be nice to have uh, a menu where we could switch between the, uh, the pie chart and the bar chart. So we're gonna provide a new menu item. I'm just gonna drag this to menu file here. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna write here show bar chart and we can also arrange it so we have close in the bottom here and I can also right click and duplicate because I would like to have show pie chart so whoop. So we arrange that, so we have show bar chart and bar chart, all right? So in the edit area, we 
don't really need to delete it, but maybe it could come in handy to demo that we can actually update data in our chart. So we will just rename the existing one with update data. Okay, so the next thing is that we need to connect this to our controller file. So we're gonna uh, write the event handler names so that we can control them inside of our controller file. So the first one, show bar chart um, on action. What should handle that? I'm gonna make this handle show bar chart. And the next one should be handle show pie chart. And then close, we can call this handle close. And in the edit we have update data. So handle update data. And the about, yeah, we're not gonna have an about screen I think in this app here. Okay, so uh, we're gonna save this with control S and let's go back. And then we can see that scene builder has created all the method, all the event handlers for our uh, UI. And if we close this, uh, we can do make controller. And if we head into our controller file again, we can see that now it's been, oh yeah, we, we've removed the label. Oop, that was the previous one, so we're just gonna remove that. Actually, I think we're gonna remove these two lines because actually I think we're gonna remove all the event handlers, okay. <laughs> so now we have a more clean interface here. We have all the event handlers, action events, that will take care of the particular actions here. And if we see, do we have any errors in this? Build the project, all right, and let's run it. So we can see that we've changed the UI slightly. Now we have the the different menu items and they don't do anything right now, but we're gonna make sure they will. An easy one that we can start with is the close one. How do we actually close the program? So we're gonna find the handle close, event handler. We're gonna type in system exit and we provide a zero to actually close the application. And let's just run it again here and let's see what happens. So it will close the application, all right. So that was a simple event handler. Um, now we should, in the next video, I'm gonna start making the code for how we actually show these bar charts, show the pie chart and how we can uh, switch between them. Thank you for watching and have fun with this, bye-bye.